From this vantage point, you're looking out over the highlands of Roan Mountain and down on the valley where Roan Mountain State Park is located. Welcome to Roan Mountain State Park. I'm Park Manager Monica Johnson and I'm standing in front of the Doe River. The river is home to three native trout, the brook trout, rainbow trout, and brown trout. The park has several amenities, camping, cabins, picnic shelters, playgrounds, swimming pools. We have approximately 12 miles of hiking, four and a half trails of mountain bike. Roan Mountain has a little over 2,000 acres. Within that acreage lies the Miller Farmstead House. It's a house built in the early 1900s and it's still standing today for visitors to come and enjoy and see what it was like to live on a farmstead. This evening, we're gonna take you on a short hike to view fireflies. We're gonna see a variety of different kinds, blue ghost, synchronized, and flash bulbs. Fireflies are pretty cool. They light up at night. It's a summer insect that comes out and we used to catch as kids. The cool thing about them is the lights are actually signaling to female fireflies that are on the ground. Early June is a sign of mating for fireflies. The males fly at different ranges in the air while the females are found on the ground blinking a low light. Male and female communicate with each other using their flashes. Learning about fireflies is something new for me. I didn't realize growing up that there were so many different species out there. We have three specific ones here at Rome Mountain that have been very cool to learn about. One unique thing about fireflies is their size difference. The blue ghost fireflies are super small. The synchronized and the flash bulbs are much larger than the blue ghost. So there is a size difference between those as well. Tonight I'm going to take you on a magical journey to view fireflies. We will see three different species of fireflies, blue ghost, synchronized, and flash bulbs. The blue ghost is a rare type of firefly that only glows during mating season, which begins late spring or early summer. That's when they show off their unique blue-white hues to attract a mate. A unique fact about the blue ghost fireflies is that they're only found in one part of North America, that being the Appalachian Mountains. The blue ghost is a tiny black firefly the males do not flash, but glow a pale blue, whitish light. The display lasts for 30 to 40 seconds with numerous individuals displaying over a large area. Female blue ghosts are white or pale yellow in color and lack wings. Fireflies are super cool, and with over 2,000 species out there, there's so much to learn. So this is the blue ghost firefly. They're much smaller than the synchronized, and when they light up, they're blue, and they just float through the air, which very much is ghost-like. So this little guy, he is alive, and we'll see if he can maybe take off and then we can catch him lighting up. I was shocked when I caught one and seen it for the first time because I was expecting, you know, the size of a firefly that we caught when we were kids. And it totally wasn't that. Come on, little buddy.
So this is a female blue ghost. So all the females in the lightning bug family is pretty much looks something similar to this, just some a little bit larger than the others. This is the blue ghost female and they stay on the ground, like I said, with the synchronized, same, same process. Um, the females do light up blue as well. They don't blink, but their little blue light will stay on and the, the males will find them. Um, unfortunately, their light is super faint and it's very hard to get on video. The best time to view fireflies is late May through mid to late June. The best areas to view fireflies are in areas of complete darkness. When viewing fireflies, make sure you use a red light. A white light disturbs their mating season. The synchronized firefly pattern is a series of five to eight flashes of yellow light with all individuals in an area displaying this pattern. This is followed by a period of darkness for eight to 10 seconds. The synchronous stopping and starting of the flash sequence displayed by this firefly is unique. So here's the male synchronized up close. I'm getting flipped over. He is not happy. <laughs> not happy at all. Come on, buddy. But you can see he's got two lights on there. And they blink intermittently. It's much larger than the blue ghost. They smell too. Come on, buddy. I want you to fly. Hmm. Take off. Flies emit light mostly to attract mates, although they also communicate for other reasons as well, to defend territory and warn away predators. Often the male will fly while females will wait in trees, shrubs, and grasses to spot an attractive male. If she finds one, she'll signal it with a flash of her own.
One unique thing about fireflies is their size difference. Blue ghosts are super small. Synchronized and flashbulb are much larger than the blue ghosts, but still have a size difference between them as well. The flash bulb display a single series of flashes similar to that produced by a flash bulb. These species prey on fireflies of the same genus, attracting males by mimicking the flash response of the females and then catching and eating males they attract. Those flash bulbs are much faster with their flashes. There he went. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's fast. This last firefly we're going to talk about tonight is the flash bulb. Its flash is much quicker, blinking more consistently than the others. You will find the flash bulb fireflies in open areas with tree lines. Over this field, you will see them from the ground all the way up to the tree canopy. Flash bulb fireflies produce two to five flash patterns. Flash bulb Females engage in aggressive mimicry, imitating light signals of other firefly species to attract, kill, and eat the males. For the next few minutes, let's observe the fireflies. See if you can pick out each species.
Thank you for joining me here at Roan Mountain State Park. To find out about future programs and events, please follow us on Facebook. Brought to you by Bledsoe Telephone Cooperative, your full-service telecommunications provider right here in the Sequatchie Valley.